Hello, today is Monday the 2nd of August 2021 and it's an important day for me, it's a monumental day for me and it's a monumental day because it is the day that I have chosen to quit smoking. Um, it's been something that's been on my mind for quite a while now. Um, I've been a smoker for 43 years, I'm 58 years old now. So I started smoking in about 1978, which put me about the age of 15. Um, and in all that time, there's never been a day, um, not ever once, where I have not used nicotine, smoked a cigarette, or used some other nicotine product. Um, there are lots of reasons why I have decided at this age to stop smoking. Um, Two of the most primary reasons are money and health. Um, over the years, I mean, I've always been cavalier about cigarettes and most smokers will identify with this, I hope. Um, you know, as a, as a younger person, as a younger man, you know, it was always like, oh, I can stop any time, you know, I can give it up. Um, using excuses like you know well something in, at the end of the day something's going to get me it might as well be this and you know i mean you only live once all nonsense absolute nonsense it has a devastating effect on your health and your pocket and that's the truth of it um i do plan to record um some more videos and the reason that i'm going to do that is because I think it's a good idea to have a journal to see how I am pro progressing um, and or failing. You know, I'm under no illusions that this is going to be easy. I am I'm absolutely not. I'm not doing it cold turkey. I do have support. I contacted, um, I live in North Wales, so I contacted via the website, help me quit. Um, and they've been tremendous, absolutely tremendous. I've got um, an outreach um, support person that I can contact by email, text, phone calls. Um, and also they provided me free um, with the nicotine replacement therapy products that I will need to see me through. Um, so yeah, 2nd of August, I've start, I got up this morning at 6 o'clock um, and the last cigarette that I had was last night was about 11 o'clock. So I'm doing okay at the minute, you know, it's it was hard this morning obviously because I mean one of the first things that I'll do is make a coffee, go and sit in the garden and smoke a cigarette. So yeah, it's, it's that, that was a bit of an eye opener. Um, but just to leave now, because obviously I've got nothing really to say how I'm sort of progressing because, I mean, it's only been four or five hours in now. Um, I'm not edgy, you know. Um, but leading up to my quit date, this is just to illustrate. I mean, I'm a heavy smoker and there's no two ways of saying it, you know. Over the years, I've always lied about that sort of thing. Um, and I've only been cheating myself really I mean you know I was one of the I classically I was one of these that went to a doctor and the doctor say well how many cigarettes do you smoke a day and I'd say oh well, five doctor nonsense absolutely nonsense I mean I'm hitting 40 a day now easy 40 a day plus you know and that's not to count over the years I mean 20 20 30 a day leading up to this and when you know we've we've all done it we've been out to parties and We've drank excessively and just smoked more, you know, smoked more cigarettes. So, um, as I say, leading up to my quit day, I'll just reach over and get something in a minute. Leading up to my quit day, I kept the cigarette packets that I'd smoked over the course of a few days. Now, I won't show you which brand. I'm not even a major um, brand smoker, you know, cost-wise. I go for an option that I can sort of, or thought I could afford comfortably. This is about three or four days worth of cigarettes that I smoked leading up to my quit date. And that is the amount there. That is 85 pounds. It's 85 pounds just gone. Okay, up in smoke. 
and I can't say that any one of those cigarettes made me feel brilliant because they didn't. It's a nasty, horrible habit that controls our lives. I'm not doing this for a pat on the back from anybody. I'm not doing it for anyone to turn around to me and say, well done, I'm doing it for me, okay? I'm in control of this, okay? If I'm going to fail, I will fail. If I succeed, hopefully I will, more the better. But if one person watching my videos over the next few weeks, even if it changes their view about smoking or even makes them consider um, potentially quitting, I'll be made up. And if one person just quits because of this, I'll be even more made up. But like I say, I can't, um, I can't wave a magic wand. There is no magic pill that I could take to make this any easier or better. It's a journey that I'm going to go on on my own and hopefully I can achieve it. As I say, there's nothing really much to report. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm doing okay at the minute. Um, please do like and subscribe for the reasons purely um, that if you want to follow how I'm doing, brilliant. Also, if you know anyone that's considering considering it um, quitting smoking. Please point me in this direction. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not here to lecture, and I'm not. I'm certainly no professional in this. It's just that hopefully they might be able to identify with what I'm going through and, and judge it for themselves. Meanwhile, thank you very much for listening. Take care. Look after yourselves, and hope to speak soon. Bye.